Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a get ready with me work edition and I'll show you how I get ready to go to work. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Denisha. Please be sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you don't miss another video. So for the first step, I like to take my Rimmel Lasting Finish Primer and just put it all over my face so that it's nice and ready to put some makeup on. So the next thing I'm going to take is my Garnier BB Cream and you guys know how much I like this just because not only is it really lightweight on the face which is perfect for when you're working but at the same time it's got a very like buildable coverage. So I'm going to take it with my um, Zoeva buffing brush and I'm just going to put it all over my face. Alright, so once that's done, I'm going to take my Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser in the shade 04 Honey and just apply it under my eyes, around my nose and sort of on my blemishes around my face. Because um, that concealer basically is very similar to the shade of my um, BB cream, it basically blends in really well so that you can't see like the redness and the dark circles and things like that. So just blend it in. Um, I'm using the same buffing brush that I did before. So for the next step, I'm going to use my Barry Am All Night Long Concealer in the shade 2 Oatmeal. And this is um, a couple shades lighter than my original skin tone. And what this does, it just brightens up my skin a little so it looks like I'm awake and ready to work. Okay, so I've just put that um, under my eyes, on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose and sort of my um, cupid's bow on my chin and just lining the sides of my mouth. And what I'm going to do next is just blend it in again with my same um, buffer brush that I did, uh, that I used earlier. Um, and just, yeah, brighten my skin a little. So what I'm going to take next is my Collection Primed and Ready HD Blur Setting Powder and this is basically loose powder um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of set where I have put the Barry M Concealer. Alright, so at this point I sort of look like a ghost, <laughs> um, which is unsurprising since my skin is really light as it is. Um, but what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use my um, Bonjour Paris Maxi Delight Bronzer with my Real Techniques, Real Techniques Contour Brush. Um, and what I'm going to do is sort of bronze my face to sort of 
well, bring some colour back to it, I guess, so I don't look like I'm a dead corpse. Okay, so next I'm going to take this um, Avon Marbleized Powder Blush um, on my Zoeva blush brush, I guess you could say. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pat it on my um, on the apples on my cheeks uh, to make sure to sort of get some kind of rosy glow, naturally looking thing going on. If you guys know what I mean. The next thing I'm going to take is my MAC um, highlight powder with my fan brush and I'm just going to sweep it across my cheekbones and on my cupid's bow. Okay so now I'm done with the um, sort of face portion of my makeup I'm gonna quickly um, just go through what I do with my eyes and my lips and that's pretty much it so normally I don't um, really touch my eyebrows um, I don't use any brow gel any brow pencil or anything like that um, what I recently started doing is I've started using this um, eyebrow and eyelash brush from eco tools and what I do is I just sort of brush it into place So what I like to do after that is, um, depending on my mood, sometimes I like to use eyeshadow, sometimes I don't. So in this instance, like for today, um, I won't use any sort of eyeshadow or colour on my eyes. So I'm just going to jump in straight with um, putting some eyeliner on. Um, the eyeliner that I'm using today is my big gel paint pencil longwear eyeliner from Avon. Um, and it's in the shade Black Shimmer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line my waterline with this eyeliner. Okay, so you guys, um, I didn't realise that my camera stopped recording. I'm so sorry about that. Um, but what I just did after doing my eyeliner um, was my mascara and my lipstick. So I'm just going to talk you guys through what I did. So the first thing I did was I used my eyelash colour to curl my lashes. And then after that I used my um, B... W7 Big Lash Mascara um, to sort of lift my eyelashes and sort of curl it even more and set it in place. And then the last thing I did was put my lipstick on and the lipstick that I used was my Avon lipstick in the shade Iced Mocha. No, Iced Coffee, sorry. Um, and obviously the last thing, like the last thing after that that I did was use my setting spray and the one that I used was the Collection Primed and Ready Makeup Fixing Spray and that just um, set up all my makeup in place. Um, so yeah, that's my makeup done. Um, normally in the mornings when I get ready for work, I don't do anything to my hair um, just because I've already like pretty much washed it the night before, the day before. Um, but what I do use in my hair is my Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioner. Um, my Cantu Next Day Reviving Curls is like a little spray and it just helps to um, revive whatever waves and curls that I've sort of like messed up while I was sleeping. And if my hair is really frizzy, I like to use the Tresemme Keratin Smooth um, sort of anti-frizz oil, I think it's called, or the anti-frizz serum. But um, yeah, I'll link everything that I use for my hair and my makeup uh, down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please be sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you don't miss another video.